Right, last week we installed the uh, four panels on the flat roof using the Van der Velt belt box free uh, kit. Uh, we went for those on this one purely because they would be easy to move if we need to do any maintenance on the either the roof above or that flat roof that we're working on. Um, yeah, great little kit really. Um, I think they're fantastic for what they do. Uh, for a simple uh, install there where you just want four independent panels, gives you the option then if you want to reposition those panels slightly to uh, track the sun a bit better or avoid any shading. Um, yeah, so they're great. So um, today um, we're going to carry on. We're going to connect um, those panels, uh, hopefully get them up and running and um, into our existing um, Victron inverter which you can see behind me. I'll swing you around and I'll show you what we've got. So here's our existing uh, Victron uh, battery inverter setup. Uh, I won't go into too much detail on this um, today because this is more about connecting these panels and getting those up and running. But basically what we've got here that we're going to install today um, to try and get this up and running um, We've obviously got our DC isolator there. We've got our surge box for our DC surge because that's really important to put on. Now the actual surge device hasn't arrived as yet. That was hopefully arriving this morning, but it's not. Um, so we might have to just put that in later. But we'll get up and running and see see if there's anything else we need to get that up and running. But that will hopefully arrive Monday. Um, probably one of the most important bits of this project is the Victron solar charge controller um, which in this case is 150 volts 35 amps maximum output so we've got to be really careful as I was trying to describe last week not to exceed that maximum voltage which is why we're actually doing um, this install in a 2 series 2 parallel um, configuration now there's lots of considerations there but uh, to get that parallel connection we're using these MC4 um, combiners uh, one male one female um, which will then plug into our MC4 plugs um, I'll talk a little bit more about that later but it's very important uh, when you're doing parallel is to not exceed the fused rating of the panel now there's a data sheet on the back of the panel that gives you this so in this instance we can we can parallel two up to our uh, panels and not exceed that fuse rating but if you were to ex exceed that fuse rating then you would need to put some string fuses in to protect your panels uh, should there be a short circuit um, a couple of other items here we've got just to complete our install is the V direct cable which will connect our uh, MPPT into our Victron servo controller down there um, and then we've got our uh, battery cables um, which will link from the battery side um, into our Lynx distributor down here uh, and then they will be fused uh, with this uh, Victron Mega Fuse just here using a couple of these uh, crimp lugs um, to uh, bolt down into the distributor um, yeah so this is all going to go here uh, I'm thinking and this layout may change slightly as we get it into place because of whatever we do I want to get it looking neat and tidy as we've done with the rest of the, the install uh, but come in and here uh, and there may be some trunking just put in there just start uh, these are DC cables panels are not connected on the roof yet so they're not live so we need to get a DC isolator in first so I'm thinking our DC isolator will be here the first part here next to our DC surge box and then underneath will be our Victron um, solar charge controller there that should all fit quite nicely in that space so let's see how we get on
we are in, we are on, our paddles are generating, we're connected here, there's still a few bits to do here as I mentioned, we haven't got a DC surge, that's not arrived yet, but the box is there ready for that to drop in, change the layout from what I was thinking, um, because actually I managed to save some space here, maybe for a future project, um, so that's there, uh, I also need a cover. Uh, which is going around the bottom of these cables here to protect the battery and the PV cables uh, but it is on and working and connected in so what is it doing well let me show you on this screen just here okay so right let me just quickly run you through this so you can understand so here's our uh, grid consumption here um this is our ac loads in the house here uh these are um secondary loads that would be um backup capable um should there be a power outage and um, so anything connected on that side of the inverter if the power goes off would stay on this is our existing solar array that's on the main roof um, it's a 3.5 kilowatt peak on that array our battery percentage here uh, this flow here shows you where the energy is going and then here which is the exciting bit is our new panels uh, the four panels on that roof now not generating an awful lot at the moment but it is a very cloudy day very dull very overcast and actually what's interesting is we have got a total peak on our new panels of 1700 watts and our existing panels are 3500 watt peak and we are approximately generating half of the existing panels now that is great news for two reasons because our new panels we've got four uh four 425 watt tree nurse and on our existing panels uh we have got 14 250 watt panels so four panels are generating half of 14 panels now when you work that out our total um array of existing to our new ones it's virtually half so half of the generation is great for two reasons one it means the new ones are generating in line with what it should expect but also that our existing panels that are 10 years nearly uh, i think it's 10 years next month when they're installed and them installed um are still generating really well so i mean that's great for, yeah both of those reasons to know that our new panels are generating well and there's only four of them so it shows you how the technology is improved on the panel but it also shows that the existing panels have maintained themselves really well so absolutely thrilled um, with these and I did see uh, the panels at about midday they literally these new ones peaked at uh, just over 1600 watts so they were nearly working flat out momentarily um, but yeah it'd be interesting to see on a nice day what these are actually uh, generating um, and yeah, it also compare further to the existing array. But yeah, actually, what a result. Four, four panels on a flat roof, um, generating really well. So absolutely thrilled, um, which will then lead us into a few further projects. Uh, I've got some more space that I can actually add some panels. So we'll look at that in a uh, further video. So yeah, I had a question. I just wanted to know myself if shading on the par panels in parallel is more has more effect than shadings in the panel in series. So to do that, I thought I'd demonstrate. We've got these two panels here in series, uh, and these two panels there on another series both of which parallel together which is actually like your typical um, solar inverter at home um, because they have two strings uh, in the inverter so I'm just going to uh, create some shading on this panel here there 
and then I'm going to put some shading on this panel here to demonstrate and we'll see what happens to the wattage there yeah so put in the uh, first piece of shading on that panel nearly half the wattage put in that piece of shading on that panel there then took the wattage down to I think it was like 10 watts looking at that just absolutely generating nothing and yet we still got two panels that are clear with no shading so to test that theory a bit further I'm then going to put the shading on this panel here yes you can see we're actually generating half again these two panels are clear so yes it, it actually makes a difference where the shading is um, as opposed to the string it's connected to so basically yes shading on one panel in a string can affect the other panels on that string so then by having second string in parallel clear with no shading you're still getting half the generation so yeah interesting